Saria here, Chief Green Alchemist at Going to Natural. Do you know it takes less than 30 seconds for your skin products to enter your bloodstream? Yeah, so knowing what's in them, super important. We know you want what's best for you and your family. And here at Going to Natural, so do we. We care about the environment, we care about the animals, and most importantly, we care about you. We offer free support for your healthy journey and love providing affordable, all natural products that are responsibly sourced, cruelty free, luxurious, and always made with love. We're not just a shop, we're a community, and we'd love to have you. Browse our collection of plant based skincare products and natural tips and tricks at shop.goingtonatural.com. That's shop.going, the number two, natural.com. A conscious brand for a conscious community. Use code LOVEEARTH for 15% off your first order. Welcome to Cherry's World. Today on Cherry's World, we will be talking to a man who calls himself Dr. Sabi Jr., That's the only name I know. That's the only name I'll be giving you with the unfortunate death of Nipsey Hussle. A lot of us have been introduced to Dr. Sabi that didn't know exactly who Dr. Sabi was before. And now that Dr. Sabi's gone, his voice will live on through people like Dr. Sabi Jr. He is going to come on today and just tell us some misconceptions about what we should and should not be eating. And Educate us a little bit on what Dr. Sabi's diets are really about. So stay tuned to Cherry's World and we are going to be a little educated on what we should and should not be eating. Would you like to advertise on Cherry's World and have your product placed on Cherry's social media for the world to see? Email us now at cherriesworldpodcast at gmail.com for low introductory rates. Cherry's World Podcast. Get heard. Welcome to Cherry's World. Dr. Sabi Jr. is yeah. on the line, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. G. Yeah. How you doing, sir? <laughs> yeah, yeah. How y'all doing? Hey, beautiful people. All right. Hey, that is my co-host, Mr. Courtney. He is also the producer of the show. How you doing, sir? Okay. How you doing, Mr. Courtney? I'm okay. I'm actually stuffing my face in Whole Foods right now. Hey, that's a good place to and, do uh, it. I'm yeah, I'm trying to catch up on what y'all were talking about with the whole salve and all that because I was uh, I actually, I guess I'm running late. So, and I wanted to know more uh, if y'all had anything y'all wanted to talk about. Just, you know, shoot. Oh, okay. So I was telling the ladies that I haven't made a video yet because I need to. I am in business with a company called Going to Natural and I'm sunburned. So she was mm. telling me, put the salve on my skin and it would heal my sunburn. Dr. Sabi Jr., do you have any advice for sunburns? It's summertime. I'm, well, I'm curious about what's in the salve, but on, on just a direct note, I would say uh, the pure cocoa butter, pure shea butter, a lot of people use uh, shea butter and it's yellow. And it took me uh, a long time to learn. I kept asking different Africans, like why are there uh, a white shea butter and a yellow one? And no one knew. And I later found out that they add a, some type of herb or chemical to it. But uh, you want the pure shea butter, pure cocoa butter, uh, nopales cactus. I, I think nopales is, is better than aloe. And a lot of people are familiar with aloe, but uh, nopales is very gentle. Like it feels kind of like you're rubbing like a cucumber on your skin or, and it kind of, it reminds me of baby food. So it's something that you can, you, it's very gentle, even, and you can use with children. So is it something that you oh, can yeah. ingest as well? Is that something we can eat, or is it just something oh, that's yeah. topical? Definitely. I would, I would use it topically and uh, internally. Uh, I use it. That's how I use it. I drink it. I tell people it's really good for weight loss also, but when, 
the way that we approach things, we try to nourish the body. So definitely inside and outside, use no poly. And I also prickly pear, but the prickly pear, when it turns red, it can turn your skin red. So uh, that's the only thing about prickly pear or no polis. But there, there's a green part of no polis before it gets ripe. Uh, it's green. So you can use the green part if you don't mind. But if you use the red part, y- your skin will turn a little bit red. Uh, you'll be walking around looking like Hellboy or something, you know, <laughs> or Vision. <laughs> Yeah. So crazy. Okay, so let's talk about this whole, how did you get the name Dr. Sabi Jr.? Are you actually Dr. Sabi's son? Okay, I'm not related to Dr. Sebi, but uh, what happens is uh, I grew up in a healthy family, uh, farmer's markets and all that kind of stuff, herbal stores, and um, I was sick. I was a food tester and secret shopper, and uh after having eczema for years, I just tried to go natural. So people always knew I was picky. They knew me for just knowing about healthy food. So if you can imagine somebody in the hood, you know, vegetarian or eating healthy stuff, I always stood out. But uh, pretty much what happens once I started learning enough and I began to understand Dr. Sebi's work and I began to promote him, people thought I was Dr. Sebi's uh, child and they thought that maybe I was lying because I thought that they were FBI agents so they started treating me as if I was you know Dr. Sebi's family and I kept telling them no I'm not I'm not and they're like yeah your secret's safe with me and I'm like no I'm not but I actually talked to his family um, Usha uh, I told her to uh, get back into the herbs and to connect with Dr. Sebi uh, I, I went to Usha Village uh, about a year ago uh, after he passed. I went, I was on my way, but I was waiting for my passport. But I also helped make Dr. Sebi's website better. So what happens is uh, once he made Dr. Sebi sell food, he made new products, but he still had a food list that he had used when he was presenting watered down information. Uh, and I started to say, hey, you know, you're missing things. Like, I'm watching a video from the 90s, and he's mi- you're missing this, you're missing that. Like, Fonio. Fonio, F-O-N-I-O, is a natural rice from Africa, and they just made the machines to process it on a large scale. So it's, it hasn't flooded the market, and most people don't know about it. And he was talking about it, and I just couldn't figure out how to spell it. So I started calling the doctor's every office every day. And um, eventually they allowed me to help them update the food list. And I got it first and they were like, hey, do you have any other suggestions and stuff? And uh, either way, before all of that, I was actually taking herbs. I don't know if you ever heard of Twerk Team, but there's some girls that dance in different music videos and things. And one of uh, my sisters, she had uh, cancer. So we were taking Dr. Sebi herbs. And I, I didn't have cancer, but I took the herbs anyway. Later, I learned that you know, you take the herbs no matter what. But I didn't know that then. I thought I was taking cancer herbs. So I just, you know, it's a really bold and um, courageous, loving thing to do. You know what I mean? You were rejuvenating your cells without even knowing what you were doing. I have a question for you. Yeah. Yeah. You have eczema. And eczema is what drove you to Dr. Sabi and changing your eating. I was taught that eczema is really just a allergy. Say that again. Well, eczema. I was, I was taught that eczema is just a food allergy. Oh. Yeah, you know, it's funny because Sebi talks about th- everything just being mucus, and that's another reason why people call me Sebi Junior because I've I've consumed all of his information, and uh, they say I started quoting him a lot. But um, I, I say that a lot of the science that we have today are theories. And, you know, it's like when you say something like that, you say, oh, I heard that they say that it's an allergy. But at the same time, you have to acknowledge that this is still a theory. So we get into a problem where we don't realize that. But he talked about everything just being mucus. Um, Yeah, eczema was it felt like torture to me. It's like you're trapped in your own body. And I didn't want to take the medicine because um, 
it's a steroid based medicine. I'm not sure if they still use that medicine today, but I was afraid to put steroids on my body as a child just Mm -hmm. because that word. And uh, I just, you know, I I prayed about it and all those things at the time. And the spirit or whatnot said, hey, go back to the Garden of Eden. As a food tester, you know that I didn't make this food. I didn't make, you know, God didn't create these things. So go as far back to nature as possible. And as you go back, you're going to be rejuvenated. You're going to be healed. You're going to look too good. You're going to look too sexy. Everybody's going to be trying to figure out what you got going on. You know, did you go to the gym? So, and, 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 uh, I did, I went vegan, cold Turkey, uh, pretty much. And, uh, I just, I've been vegan. I haven't ate meat in 13 years. And every time I made a step, I just saw better and better results. The last four to five years of, um, of my life recently, I um, began to go deeper into Dr. Sebi's information. Beforehand, I was taking his herbs and doing what everybody else does, where they mix what they feel and what they know. They take from different places and things. I was doing that too. And after a while, it just clicked. And I said, oh, crap, I didn't understand him. Nobody understands him because he watered down the information with the food list. So that's um, a little bit about that. I'm, I'm kind of going around, but uh, but yeah. One of the big things yeah. that oh, I, well. I, I heard is when you take milk and processed foods mm. and things like milk chocolate and stuff out of your diet, you will see that you don't have as many eczema flare-ups, which makes total sense because mucus comes from dairy, so... Well, you know, mucus, the body makes mucus and it uses it naturally, but something is, and I wanted Sebi, that's why, like I said, I produced the uh, Dr. Sebi Broccoli video and I wrote a bunch of questions for Sebi that I knew people needed to understand to to make their own uh, experiments and, their, you know, come to their own uh, beliefs. So... When you talk about mucus, it's like, I'm not sure exactly how to explain it, but it's like this unnatural food is causing problems. And then that that's leading to all these different places. I also wanted to say that when I was dealing with the eczema, I also started using only things that I felt my skin could eat. Like if I couldn't put it in my mouth, I wouldn't put it on my skin. And uh, I also had uh, spots on my skin and I had... Um, dandruff really bad too back then and I didn't I didn't want to miss that because I think that could really help a lot of people because I remember having really 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 bad dandruff and uh, and now like if I get a headache right now like if I go somewhere and there's too much pollution and I get a headache I freak out because I don't know what a headache feels like anymore uh-huh. and I want to give people that type of power where it's like you don't even know what it feels like to be sick anymore you know um but you said something about the mucus and uh, a dairy. I forgot the last thing. Dairy. Oh, yeah. yeah. When you give up dairy, they say you lose automatically like 15 pounds. But like I said, there was things I wanted to talk to Sebi about. They have been keeping me from Sebi for so long because I'm an OG influencer, food tester. And I, I, I had meetings with Sebi and people would just leave me stranded and disappear doing weird stuff. A lot of weird stuff has happened in this journey. But um, when you give up dairy, they say you lose 15 pounds. But also, it's just like, we're not cows. I do know when I first gave up dairy, I didn't really plan to do it. Uh, I just kind of accidentally did it. And this that also started my vegan journey with the search, you know, the meditation dealing with the eczema was like, I stopped buying milk in college. Uh, just shopping on a budget. Just I just eliminated cereal and milk. And so uh, when I went back to drink it, I got out. sick. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt uh, you. But I, yeah, yeah, I we're, not, we're not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. You're good. No, I just said that on our last you're show. You're right. We're not a cow. <laughs> we're not cows. But it's it's so crazy because the way they have us thinking is: if you want a strong heart, go eat a bull's heart. If you want muscles, go eat the thigh muscles. And, yeah. and it's so funny because to like a, a simple, I don't want to say simple derogatory, but to a, a basic mindset, that makes sense. It's like, oh, you know, but it's like, that's not how the body works. It's like 
you put a certain kind of fuel in a certain kind of car. There's race cars. You put race fuel in it. You, you got hydrogen cars. You got electric cars. Now you got regular cars. You know, you got the go-karts. They're all running off of different fuels. So the body can make proteins. Uh, even women make milk, but you don't have to drink milk to make milk. You get what I'm saying? But they got us thinking that, and it's so crazy. But um, like I said, when I gave up that dairy and I went back to eat it, I got sick. I went back to eat it again. And every time I got sick, somebody came and politely asked me to please not drink the milk again. They were like, look, you are very sick. You should not do that again. Maybe you should just not do it. And, you know, one person was my girlfriend at the time. And then another person was a guy who just, you know, observed me being sick. He was like, man, whatever that is, you don't need to do it no more. You probably got some kind of problem. And I'm like, bro, I can't be lactose intolerant. I drank milk my whole life, big bowls of milk, you know, like Friday with the big bowl. Now, I'm not talking about a cereal bowl. I'm talking about like a cake mixing bowl, you know. So, what, like I said, giving up that that milk, giving up the cheese and, and the ranch dressing and the Cheetos and all that stuff, that, 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 man, it worked miracles for me. Like, I had, I had a little gut forming. I had acid reflex. And all that just went away and I started modeling and I don't work out. I refuse to work out. So I'm modeling and I don't work out and I'm walking around looking good with extra curly hair. I'm a natural hair model. You get what I'm saying? And I used to have dandruff. Like how am I a natural hair model? And I have, I used to have dandruff really bad. I'm, I'm like a walking miracle. So that's why people call me Dr. Sebi Jr. They're like, oh, he really embodies it. And Dr. Sebi snuck and ate his fish, but I don't sneak and eat meat at all. So um, that's a lot of reasons why people call me Dr. Sebi Jr. And hey, what do you think you know, about I'll, almond. Getting, I'll, I'll leave whole food. Almonds? Almond milk. And cashew uh, milk. He's talked about... Yeah, he was talking about almond milk and cashew milk. I think he said the bark of a cashew tree could kill you. And uh, he talked about something about the U.S. does something with almond milk that's very sketchy. But when I went to his village uh, in his home, he does have an almond tree. And the almond looks like a peach. And it, I think it's really, they're in the same genus or something. And uh, you actually eat the skin on the outside of it, like how a peach has a little seed in the middle. That's the almond that we're used to looking at. But the, the actual almond is like a peach, like coffee is a cherry. But um, the almond milk, just on a side note, there was a big, big thing that went out where, you know, as a, as a food tester, I try to tell my people, I love y'all. Love everybody, matter of fact, everybody. Unless they're bad people, I love everybody. And these companies are very, very tricky. I know they had a big thing that came out where the almond milk actually had cow milk in the almond milk. Oh. And they had to have like a big, yeah, like, <laughs> I don't know if they had a recall on it, but I don't think people even know about this. And I'm like, what? I was telling people not to drink the almond milk just because I thought it was a ripoff. And then uh, Sebi dropped some information. And then the company said, oh, well, our almond milk has cow milk in it. So all you vegans weren't really vegan, you know? And I've been really kind of feeling that energy for a long time because when you just, just imagine it like this, uh, when you have a big factory, you got all this, these um, products you make, and then you're going to have like some leftover stuff, whether it's the skin, the fat, the bones, whatever it is, and they're going to turn it into a Kemp, you know, paint or, or, or dog food or something. And I've always just felt that these companies are going to put it back in the food. They, they, they're not happy with just making a billion dollars off of us. They're going to stretch every penny. So I don't know. Google, look it up, man. <laughs> the almond wow. milk wasn't you know, vegan. Would you say you're a food tester? Are you allowed to say who you work for? Well, uh, I'm not employed by them anymore. So I say it all the time. Procter and Gamble, one oh. of the biggest companies in the world. One of the biggest companies in the world, Procter & Gamble, is an um umbrella corporation which owns and makes everything, and they work with every company. They make a lot of a lot of stuff, a lot of marketing material. So when you get a CD, they make the paper that's in the CD. They make the CD. They make the, the plastic that the CD comes in. 
you know. Um, so I actually worked for music and food, but um, but yeah, Procter and Gamble, man. They the 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 smaller corporation that I worked for was called Tremor, and uh, yeah, we. I remember certain companies. I remember working for Sprite separately, and Sprite. I believe I say that Sprite and 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 Pepsi are the reason why Michael Jackson turned albino, and or or what is it, vitiligo. Because I want to cure a albino person. I, Can you explain I think that would be like my yeah. claim to fame. Can you explain? Well, uh, how- you know, in the hood, in the hood, we have uh, this thing we call called acid, where people say that you need to drink more water if you start getting these spots on your skin. I don't know what the medical term is, actually, but it's just pretty much lighter spots on your skin that eventually start to spread, and they look like patches, and it looks like a mild version of vitiligo. And people have it. I, I actually saw a worker in, in Dr. Sebi's Usha Village with it. And he had it really bad on his back. And I was telling him, hey, I healed that. You know, I used to put hemp oil on my skin and cocoa butter. And I just think about the skin eating, eating and breathing. And then I go out in the sun. But like uh, what I was saying is uh, in the hood, they say that if you drink too much soda, it gives you these spots on your skin. That's just what everybody says in the hood. I don't know if it's necessarily true, but... I know I stopped drinking sodas. I think it has something to do with the sugar cane because cane is a product of the rum industry, which is a part of the slave industry. And all, all of the GMO plants have a big foundation in the slave industry. So that's what really the problem with your cigarettes is that there's sugar in there or something like that. You know, um, there, um, your sodas, uh, all, your sweets, all this stuff. Like you could have a cake and make it out of what's up, bro? What's up, bro? <laughs> uh, you can have a cake. Yeah, I see in one of my classmates. <laughs> you can have a cake and make it out of uh natural uh flowers like your kamut and you can use agave and you can you could be fine. You won't have any diabetes or any of that. But as soon as you add that cane in it, that sugar cane you're going to start having problems. And I remember, I think I remember once studying something about sugarcane affecting the immune system. And I just meditated on that idea of if, what is the immune system? They, they got us separating the body. Like whatever uh, protects you, does that have something to do with you growing new skin or growing new hair or growing new brain cells? So I'm not, I haven't studied it all, but I think that sugarcane affects that i know garlic does also so um i'm not sure but like we say that certain unnatural foods cause your body to rob other parts of the body and i'm not sure if that's where that skin like those skin spots come from but i know that if you eat natural electric foods you won't have to rob the body of different you know from different parts to process it and you can actually nourish the body um so yeah I don't know. Dr. Sebi talked about chemical affinity a lot. So uh, we could talk about that too. But uh, when you talk, also, I I tell everybody, call, that's another reason why they call me Dr. Sebi Jr. It's because I used to just talk to people randomly wherever I was at. And I would say, hey, let's call Dr. Sebi's office. They'll talk to you for free for 15 minutes. So I would be on the line on three-way while they're calling the office. And sometimes I wouldn't even say anything, you know, I will just be there to, to support the person to show them that I'm here with you or, you know, it's not a scam. Nobody's going to steal your information or anything like that, you know, but, uh, but yeah, so I would say too, whoever, you know, got anything, call, get a, get a 15 minute consultation if they're still doing that. And because there's a lot more herbs that, you know, we could talk about when it comes to skin or different problems. This is Cherry's World. Hey, if you want to continue to support Cherry's World, Cherry's World podcast, shop Urban Intellectuals. Shop Urban Intellectuals under Cherry J75. It helps keep this podcast up for the magic word free. So if you're a supporter of Cherry Johnson and the Cherry World podcast, shop Urban Intellectuals. Shop UrbanIntellectuals.com slash AFF slash Cherry J75. That's UrbanIntellectuals.com slash AFF Cherry J75. If people need some help 
people want some knowledge, how can they get in touch with you? I'm Dr. Sebi Jr. at Gmail. And then we also have Raw Fruit Goddess. Raw Fruit Goddess. That's run by a female. And she actually knows more than me. So, like, she's um, she knows how to pronounce the words a lot better because a lot of the herbs are in other languages. And we had to call Dr. Sebi's office and verify all the spelling on these. So, um, I'm, I'm a little bit forgetful. And I'm... Not, I'm, I'm more careless. Like I'll just drink every herb, every, every, whenever I feel like it until I just feel good. I don't really, <laughs> you know, I'll target things as much as, you know, traditional people would do. I have another question. I so can, you go by but I don't. You go by Dr. Mm-hmm. Sandy Jr. And I don't know your real name and you don't need to tell us is one of the reasons okay. why you use his name and you don't go by your real name is because of your past work with Procter and Gamble. And because of the fact that so many herbalists or holistic doctors are coming up missing or dead. Are you worried about that? Uh, you know, what's crazy. I never liked my government name because, uh, I just didn't like it for, you know, how people be. They got different reasons. But uh, people were calling me Dr. Sebi Jr. uh, in a unloving manner. I'm I'm bad with English sometimes. But they were saying this spitefully toward me. Like, they were like, fuck Dr. Sebi. You on that dumb shit. You you need to eat some meat or you need to da-da-da. You know, they were actually mocking me. They were being sarcastic about it. So basically you did, mm-hmm. and it's a different context, but I love this because you oh. used inspiration and amuse. You took like what Superhead did when they tried to coin her Superhead mm-hmm. and you turned it into something positive for you. Yeah. You know what's funny though? Like I said, uh, a beautiful sister is the reason why, because at first they were just saying like, hey, you on Dr. Sebi's dick, fuck Dr. Sebi. And I'm like, no, I'm a scientist. I'm a food tester. I'm trying to tell y'all that I, he's on to something and I figured it out and I understand it now and I'm doing experiments and I'm getting results and I've been vegan. I've been, you know, a meat eater so I can tell what's going on in my body. And, you know, but one sister actually, once I started giving, like I would go to certain herb stores or here in Atlanta, we have seven and I, w- I worked at Tassili's. Um, uh, and like I said, uh, I would be in the store and I wouldn't be able to shop sometime because they would get me and say, Hey, can you come over here and teach these people about herbs and, you know, help them. So people would ask me what herbs should they take for this or that? And I would tell them, Hey, that's no good. This one is what you really need. Uh, call Dr. Seppi's office. They'll help you. So that's when people started saying, Oh crap, you really are like a little Dr. Seppi. Like you really know these herbs and you know how to, do this like you're not just a fan or something and i'm like no i'm really a scientist and i'm really serious about this stuff so that's how that name came um for for years i was a little bit worried that uh about procter and gamble but i also thought that maybe because they make money off of all of this they sell some of the things that dr sebi talks about in every store so um i thought that they would allow me to be a celebrity and uh antagonist like make me the bad guy and i could just be this rock star bad guy and i could have a place you know like they could just say oh you know he's with the rock star rebel people and you know like they let ozzy osbourne and snoop dogg and everybody else come on tv and smoke weed with martha stewart and cook you know i thought that i would be able to fit right in can you tell the people again how they can find you if they have questions and they need you yeah dr Dr. Sebi Jr. at Gmail and uh, Raw Fruit Goddess. Everybody donate and also check the food list. The website is the best the best food list in the world for free. It's my gift to everybody. I love y'all and thank y'all for your time. Talk thank to you soon. You. Thank, thank you. you. I hope you come back. Thank you. Welcome to Cherry's World.